In our lesson for today, we'll be working with whole numbers. Let's take a look at natural numbers. This is our first group. These are our counting numbers, which begin at 1 and continue 2, 3, 4, and so on, till infinity and beyond. Whole numbers are all of the natural numbers plus one extra number, 0. We'll be adding and subtracting whole numbers in this particular lesson. By the end of this lesson, I'll be able to add and subtract whole numbers. People group everything. Animals, cars, sneakers, food. Are there any groups of numbers you already know? Groups of numbers you may already know. Even numbers or odd numbers. Also, prime numbers or composite numbers. In the real number system, we have two sets of numbers. We have irrational numbers, the numbers in yellow, and irrational numbers, the numbers in blue. Rational numbers are comprised of four different types. We have natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, and numbers that are just rational that are not the other three. Together, irrationals and rationals create the real number system. Let's take a look at rounding. So the first thing we want to know is the place value. In this particular case, that place value is the thousands place three digits to the right of the decimal. And when we're rounding, we like to use the rule, five or more, raise the score, four or less, let it rest. So when we take a look at the number to the right, since eight is five or more, the six will become a seven. Let's take a look at the next one. In this case, the underlying digit is in the tenths place, one digit to the right. We'll take a look at the number to the right to round, and we'll use that phrase, five or more, raise the score, four or less, let it rest. Since three is four or less, the four will stay the same. The mathematical practice we'll take a closer look at is construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others. Let's say we wanted to exchange 13 $1 bills into the least amount of bills possible. In this particular case, we would say we would have a $10 bill, which is worth $10, and three $1 bills which is worth $3. 10 plus 3 is 13. How about $210 now? In this particular case, we'll have two $100 bills plus one $10 bill. Let's keep this in mind when we're adding. When adding, numbers can be written horizontally like you see from left to right. And remember, we could always remember horizontal is left to right because of the horizon. Or they can be written vertically up and down. Let's add. Let's say we just wanted to add these. We lined up the numbers like so, and we just added zeros to them. 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5. 3 plus 3 plus 0 is 6. 2 plus 2 plus 4 is 8. And 1 plus 5 plus 6 is 12. This is giving us a total of 12,865. This doesn't make any sense. Why? Because of place values. One great tool to use when adding a lot of numbers is to estimate first. This is going to give you a close or a ballpark figure where your answer should be. So if you're off by a lot, you'll know you did something wrong. 1,235, you can say, hey, that's about 1,000. 523 is about 500. 64 is about 60. And now these numbers are a lot easier to add in your head, giving us a total of 1,560. Instead of rounding the 64 to 60, we might have just rounded up to 100. And again, this is close to where the answer should be. But when we are actually rounding, we want to round to a significant digit. In this case, the most significant digit would be the hundreds place. The hundreds place is here in the first whole number, here in the second whole number, and it would have been there in that third whole number. We'll use zero since that's the value of the hundreds place in this particular number. And now all we have to do is look at the number to the right. Three is four or less, therefore the two will stay the same, giving us 1,200. And the next whole number, two, is also less than four, therefore the five will stay the same. And on our last whole number, six is five or more, therefore we'll raise the score, the zero will become a one and that's 100. Notice that after the number we're rounding, we're just left with zeros, making this really easy to add. 
when I'm adding this, I'm just taking a look at the 12, the 5, and the 1. 12 plus 5 is 17. 17 plus 1 is 18. And I know I have two zeros behind it. What did we do wrong? Instead of adjusting it to the left, we should have adjusted the numbers to the right, where all the ones digits were lined up. We'll go 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. The 2 comes down, the 1 comes up, because 12 is like 10 plus 2. That 1 actually represents 10. 1 plus 3 is 4, and see, I wouldn't really add it to the 2. I, I like to group them in 10s. I'm going to go 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 6 is 10, and then 10 plus 2 is 12. Now, if you just went 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 and 6 is 12, fine. But I like to look for 10s. 12, in this case, is 120, which is equal to 100 plus 20. It's like you're having 100 there. But when you're just looking at the two middle numbers, it's just a 10. Then on the next one... 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8, nothing to carry, and all we have to do is bring down the 1. Three $10 bills is worth how many $1 bills? 30. $200 bills are worth how many $10 bills? And that would be 20. Let's subtract. Since 53 is larger than 26 and 3 is less than 6, we would borrow. Borrow 1 from the 5, the 5 would become a 4. And then what are we going to add to the 3? A lot of students like to say we're going to add 1. Since we're in the tens place, 1, 10 is worth how many 1s? Well, 10. So we're actually adding 10 to that 3, which will give us 13. That's why we place the 1 there to represent the 13. We're not adding 1, we're actually adding 10. 13 minus 6 is 7. 4 minus 2 is 2. And we are done. Let's take a look at another example. Again, since 345 is greater than 267 and 5 is less than 7, we can borrow. We'll borrow from the 4. The 4 will become a 3. And how much are we adding to that 5? If you said 15, awesome, because 110 is worth 10 ones. 10 plus 5 is 15, so we'll place the 1 there representing 15. 15 minus 7 is 8, and again, we'll have to borrow from this 3 now. This will leave us with 2, and we'll add how much to that 3? And if you said 10, awesome, because 10 plus 3 is 13, we'll just place a 1 there. 13 minus 6 is 7. 2 minus 2 is 0, therefore we do not need to write it. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I'll see you in the next one.